Okay, dude. So what I'm gonna do now is the opposite, right? I I moved so this switch here to the position A, right? I moved first here and I charged this capacitor here, and then now and I solved this problem. Now what I'm what I'm going to do is actually move this switch back to this position that means that I'm going to remove this source here the this electromotive force from the circuit I'm going to leave only the resistance and the capacitor the resistor and the, ca and the capacitor and I'm going to solve I'm going to solve this to see what ki what what kind of uh, analytical model I'm going to have to represent again let's not forget what we're trying to do let's keep here in mind right what we're trying to do we are trying to find all the ex expression analytical expressions for the charge for the current and for both voltages across the resistor and the capacitor respectively and dun, 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 let's go there and solve how you're going to start this well again we can use Kirchhoff's laws here guys we are going to use Kirchhoff's second rule again Kirchhoff second rule again right here let me put the fulvio a little better disappear fulvio let's try to solve this in one so what I'm going to have here I let's imagine that I'm starting uh, the loop here in B and com coming back to B again doesn't matter the direction okay, let's do clockwise direction here so I have a drop in potential here I have minus the drop in the resistor minus the drop the voltage drop in the capacitor and nothing else this equals to zero again I'm going to use Ohm's law here so what I'm going to have is minus R times I minus 1 over uh, minus CQ Oh, it's not CQ okay okay this is uh, again I'm going to use the, the the definition of the of the current here to solve so you know that the current is the temporal rate of charge right so we can and I can divide everything by the resistance so I can I can have actually here um, minus Security minus one over RCQ. Oh, now everything is in, fu in function of Q equals zero. Again, this is a pretty simple uh, differential equation. You guys should be very comfortable actually working with this differential equation here we can separate it Thank you. 
again you can integrate this guys pretty easy this is separable differential equation this is <laughs> would be so nice if, <laughs> if uh, every single differential equation was so easy like this one I mean, not necessarily but this is particularly easy to solve we can integrate here so this is going to be from 0 to q uh, maybe better to put some space here again I don't need to, to write this so close and here this is not t I'm ready for writing the answer this is dt to t and here we can find this is going to be the ln of q equals minus 1 over rcp and finally we can rewrite this we can isolate the left hand side here and we can find the expression for the for the charge in the capacitor in this case of discharging right as you can see the the behavior is is different in this case here so this is going to be minus 1 over RC e. and again we can write this as a function of the um, uh, we can write this as a function of the of the time constant here and when you are solving the integral sorry we have one constant here guys uh, from these integrals that that means that, uh, that actually represent the initial charge actually we can we, we can solve that but uh, including these here this is going to be the initial charge and we can write rewrite this as q bq times e to e over tau and this is the, is the expression for the charge as you can see now you have something that is going to decrease with time clearly uh, Clearly, you can see that the, the, the charge is going to decrease exponentially from this initial initial charge. So when this when time is equal to zero, so you're going to have this maximum charge uh, BQ here, and as time increases, you are going to have this exponential decrease, very fast decrease. Now I'm going to plot. I'm going to show you the plot soon. I just want to finish here for you guys. Uh, what is going to happen so this is the charge for on in the circuit if you want to calculate the the current in the circuit you just have to derive this again you using the definition right so we have that i the current left current is going to be just the derivative here of this expression in relation to time this is the temporal rate of change temporal rate uh, the Q that is this one now let's make this one so I don't have to write everything again and this is going to give me Q over RC multiply by 
the same here. Oh, this is going to be negative. Sorry, I forgot the minus here. Don't forget the minus. This is very important. Okay, and we can also emphasize here, highlight these results. Okay, we have, we can calculate now the voltages again for the resistor using Ohm's law. We just have to multiply this by R. As a function of time, this is going to be R, so this is going to be minus Q over C, C and minus 1, sorry, let's put T over tau. This is for the result resistor, for the resist resistor. Dun, dun, dun. And let's see for the capacitor. For the capacitor, I'm going to have This expression over C and we are almost there, so this is going to be Q BQ over C multiply by the exponential, this is exponential here again very interesting result we know how the, we have an, one idea how this is going to behave actually since those are exponential this one is decreasing the charge is decreasing with time uh, the current uh oh is increasing and these two voltages are decreasing okay let's see our our graphs if i didn't make any mistake if i didn't do any mistake i don't think so so this is the initial current here let's see the initial current is going to be And I can show you some graphs, guys, for this charge in the capacitor. Also, I got these graphs. I didn't plot them. I got them from the open textbooks. As you can see here, we have the charge in the capacitor is going is decreasing uh, with time, right? As time as time increases, the charge decreases. The current in the resistor is increasing right to start with a initial charge here that has this value is going to decrease uh, increase and the two voltages here 
on the capacitor and the resistor are going to decrease with time also i put some i left some simulations here for you guys to to play a little bit and uh, we don't have much time but uh, at least we finished and i would like to solve at least one i sold more than one problem i'm going to end here i'm going to to solve one one problem for you guys about this